Hi, Caitlin. How Hi. are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Um, so I seen your chart. You got an appointment. You've been feeling a little bit sick lately. Yeah. Tell me about your symptoms. So I've been having these on and off headaches. Okay. Um, and then some of my senses just feel like they're off, like my hearing. I just can't really hear like what I should be able to hear. Okay. Um, and then like taste and smell. Okay. Have been a bit off as well. So all around just not doing the best. Okay. So the hearing, um, does it hear just like the volume has decreased a little bit? Does it hear like muffled or you're just like it's not just, hearing? It's like overall, it's just more muffled than it should okay. be. So, like, I don't know, when, when you're watching TV, do you find yourself trying to, like, yes, like crank up the like volume? The volume. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the taste and smell. So, have you been smelling things that you think there you shouldn't be smelling, or it's just uh, something that you should be smelling, you're not smelling it? I just haven't really been able to smell as okay. much. Do you still uh, perceive it, like, pungent smells depends on what it is okay we're gonna be doing a smell test as well and taste to make sure that what's going on okay i'm gonna start by taking your vitals Placing this right here. Okay. I've got my stethoscope. Okay. Just go ahead and relax for me. It's a hundred and ten over seventy. I do wanna kind of confirm that. So I'm gonna be using this one. is 97.6 110 over 85 so blood pressure is a tiny bit elevated can keep an eye on that 
Your pulse is 82, which that's normal for resting precision, so that's great. Oxygen 97, so no shortage of breath. Which could indicate some respiratory virus that might be impacting your senses, but that is normal. Okay. Be listening to your heart. One and it's two, now it's three, now it's four. Signs of murmurs. You can go ahead and give me a deep breath. Exhale. One more time. There you go. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Okay. No respiratory. Issues. There's no signs of wheezing or liquid in the lungs. Okay, I'm gonna proceed to a smell test. Okay, can you go ahead and cover your right nostril for me? Take a deep breath, exhale. Okay, now let's do the other side. Okay. Okay, both um, nostrils are clear of any obstructions, so that's great. I'll give you this sound for you to smell. I don't really smell anything. No? Okay. Okay. Let's do this one's a little bit more pungent smell. Let me know if you can smell that. Um, orange? Orange. Okay. Let's try this one. Um, like lemon? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Good. And we're gonna be testing your taste. So I have these strips that have a substance on them that will taste either bitter or salty or it could be sweet um could be tasteless too so i just want you to tell me what what you can perceive okay, okay i'm gonna be placing this on your tongue you can close your mouth i'm gonna remove it could you taste anything there honestly not really no? Okay. Okay, we're gonna be trying this one now. Does that taste like anything? It's bitter. Bitter. Okay. I'll be trying this one now. Um, 
think that one's a little sweeter. Sweet. Sour. Sour, okay. Okay, it seems that like your sense of taste is intact. It might be that because you cannot smell when you're eating, you feel like it doesn't taste as much or you're having a hard time tasting as well. Okay. But actually it is normal. So, so far we found that your sense of smell is definitely compromised. The taste is okay. Okay, I want to do a few other tests to make sure there are no issues with your cranial nerves. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a test. I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and I'm gonna be touching your face with one of two objects. One's gonna feel sharp, and one's gonna feel dull. Okay, okay, sharp. Dull, dull, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, 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 dull, 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 dull. Okay. It seems that your facial sensations are intact. You can go ahead and give me a big smile. Gonna have to palpate your masseter muscle right here, making sure that the strength is normal. Very good. You go ahead and clench your jaw. Okay, very good. Now go ahead and try to frown your, frown your eyebrows. I'm gonna try to lift them up. Don't let me. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to hold them. You try to frown. Okay, that's very good. Now go ahead and try to close your eyes. Okay, that's perfect. Now go ahead and try to um, touch your cheek with your tongue inside your mouth. Okay, the other side. Very good. Now can you go ahead and try to turn your head to your left? Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, very good. Everything seems normal. I'm going to proceed and do a very um, detailed examination of your ears as well. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to take a sample. I want to test you for COVID and strep. Okay. Just making sure that that's not an issue. Okay, I'm just going to do this on your mouth. Okay. I'm going to be sending this to the lab. Can you confirm your date of birth and your name? Yep. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to uh, go ahead and lay down on the bed. We're going to do a detailed hearing and ear examination. I just want you to be more comfortable. Okay, thank you. Okay, Caitlin, I'm going to start by examining your right ear. I'll lift your head a tiny bit on just enough. Get your hair out of the way. Okay. You're using the stethoscope to look inside. Not the stethoscope, but not the scope. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of an infection. And a bit of a blockage that is caused by the fluids generated by the body trying to fight the infection. Okay, this one's looking a little bit better, but still. Okay. 
I'm gonna be doing a hearing test. I wanna assess the level of hearing loss that you're experiencing to decide how we're gonna treat you. Okay, first I'm just gonna be making a sound on your either right or left ear. Let me know which ear you can hear it louder. Can you hear that? Yes. Was that right or left? Left. Okay. Can you hear this? Yes. Was that right or left? Right. Can you hear this on your right or left? Uh, right. Okay. Does it sound louder on the right or the left? Um, the right. Okay. Go ahead and tell me which of these two options sounds louder. So that's gonna be... This is option A. This is option B. Uh, they were like the same. The same, okay. This is option A. This is option B. It was the same. Same again. Okay. I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other side. This is option A. This is option B. B. Okay. This is option A. And this is option B. Okay, I'm going to be placing this on top of your head. Let me know if you can hear it equally on both sides. Does it sound the same? Um, not really. Which side does it sound louder? It's easier to hear on the left. Okay, let's try again. Uh, same thing. Okay. Let's try again. Same thing. Okay. Time. How about that? Same thing. About now? Now it feels more balanced. Okay. I'm going to be making a different sound on either your right or your left side. Let me know where you hear it. Left. Left. Uh, uh, left. Right. Right. Left. Um, right. Right. Left. 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 Okay. Right. Okay, now let me know which one sounds louder. This is option A and Option B. A. Okay. It's option A and this option B. A. Okay. This option A. This option B. Does this they sound the same? The same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it sound equally on both ears or does it sound louder on one of them? It's louder on the left. Louder. We're going to be doing a different sound. We're going to be making the sound on right, left, or both. Okay, we're going to start now. Okay. Can you hear this? Yes. Right, left, or both? Uh, both. This one. Left. Left. 
left. Right. 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 Left. Left. Both. Right. Left. Both. Both. Left. Right. Left. Both. Okay. I'm not gonna be whispering some ears in your, some words in your ear. Just go ahead and repeat them for me, okay? Okay. Gloves. Gloves. Shirt. Shirt. Car. Car. Shell. Uh, shell. Ocean. Ocean. Bring. Good. Good. Bad. Bark. Okay. Okay, I think there's definitely a little bit of hearing loss on your right ear. It's most likely caused by the infection. Do you want to go ahead and clean a little bit? A lot of times when we have an ear infection, that could also be causing some smell and taste um, deficiency just because it's all connected. Okay. So hopefully when we address this, it's just going to help overall and you should be feeling better once we're able to manage the infection. Okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead and turn your head to the left. I'm going to start working on your right ear. I'm going to start just lightly stroking the ear, making sure that we relax the muscles around it, just to make the cleaning a little bit easier. Start cleaning the outer part of the ear before we move on to the Grab a little loose skin.
Just making sure that the external part of the ear is clean before we move on to the inner ear canal. Start addressing a little bit closer. Start cleaning, going inside the ear canal. This little tool is helping us get rid of any fluids. Any wax build up that's Go ahead and take another look here. Okay, this definitely looks a lot better. You can see the tympanic membrane is a little bit red. Okay. Is there any pain as so I'm palpating around here? A tiny bit, a tiny bit. How about here? Behind the ear. It's more like the inner ear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of inflammation here. I'm going to be applying an antiseptic um, solution that's going to help us fight that infection. And I'm also going to be giving you some antibiotics to take home. So this is a foaming solution. We're just going to place it on the hand and let it act. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and work on your other ear. You can go ahead and turn to your left, to your right, I'm sorry. Okay, so again, 
again. I'm just going to start. Cleaning the outer ear. A little bit of those skin cells. But just gonna grab the tweezers. to the inner ear. Start reaching inside the ear. I feel like a little ticklish. I'm going to be putting the same antiseptic solution that we used on the other side. It's right here. Let it out for a few seconds. Let's 
just make sure that we dry the area really well. Hey Kayleen, I'm going to be giving you a prescription for you to take home with you that should help us clear the infection and that should really take care of the loss of hearing, loss of smell as well. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have any questions for me? No, I don't. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, that's all. I'll let you just get up on your own time. I'll meet you outside if if there's any other questions that come up, okay? Okay, thank you.